Hi, it's Mike Marco. Um, I want to say hi. Jeez, I'm going to have to do this over again here. I, I, I am. Don't know what I'm saying here right now. <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm really prepared today. So really, what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about using your Facebook business page. I was talking to somebody just the other day, and they were under the assumption that using Facebook, using Facebook business page is the same thing as using three years, three years ago. They just post content, maybe run through ads, and you're successful. Nothing can be further from the truth now. Uh, the way the algorithms have changed over the past few years has really changed the, dynamic, uh, the dynamics in how you use Facebook. It's no longer simple just posting content. In fact, with the latest algorithm just rolled out 2018, just like a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, you literally have to do paid ads, okay, in combination of doing, uh, actually having the right content, putting it right in front of the right people to get actually get action, okay? You can't just do your regular content. You can't just post just memes, maybe uh, syndicate, uh, so, uh, curate some articles, and say that you've done your job. It's no longer like that. You gotta actually go run ads, promote the content, and actually make content, put the content right in front of your really, to the, to the audience that's actually pertinent to. You have to look at the whole process, taking your audience from cold traffic, from where they have no awareness of the problem. Well, they have a problem, the problem, but not actually there's a solution for that problem. To that they actually have awareness there's a solution. To the point where they're educated enough and they're ready to get action today on what you're offering. And your page has to take care of kind of that and also using ads and so on to help lead people through that process as much as possible. Now keep in mind people are going to be, uh, have been spending a lot less time in the Facebook feeds. They've been doing more time in groups. So you have to use that process as well in overall and how you actually be promoting to your target audience. Also they're a messenger. You probably have noticed that you go through Messenger, you probably see an ad there. Um, they're trying to use that space as well because that's where people find themselves in groups and in Messenger. Um, I think Facebook is being very, very careful about how many ads they put in these apps because they don't want to drive people out of it. Um, I Right now, I only see maybe one ad so far in Messenger. I'll be surprised if they try to put more than that every time you visit because they don't want to push people out. If they, if you, if they put too many ads in there, then it drives people out. So it's going to help. It's going to actually rise prices on ads, but unfortunately, if you want to use Facebook, and Facebook is, in my opinion, still the best advertising platform, platform really out there that you can really scale up, um, you need to use Facebook. So that means you're going to, if you're, if you're not spending money on ads, you're going to have to spend money on ads to get results. If you're spending money on ads, you're going to have to ramp it up and spend even more money on ads to your target audience and really help promote yourself to be that, that uh, big fish in a small pond. So I really have to start working on how that all thing, all that stuff works together. I'm working with the clients and how to get strategies to make that happen, and by putting the right content in front of the right people at the right time, and that's essential if you want to be effective on Facebook. But you also don't look at just the Facebook platform; you look at other platforms as well, as well and see where your your audience or where they're residing. So, um, if you have any questions, if you feel free to comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, and I hope this helps. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.